everyone, the Senpai Code here. So today for our episode, we're going to do spikes and we're going to animate them. We'll be designing the model in uh, 3D Studio Max and then bring them into Unity and we'll animate them in Unity. Let's uh, just jump into it. As I uh, go through everything, I'll explain what I'm doing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to orbit around and I'm going to create a box. So this will be the base for our spikes. We're going to create the, the base and then we'll create the spikes themselves. So let's go 100 by 100. So up here in the length and up here in the width, 100. And then let's do, we can do a 0.5 or we can probably do 10. Let's go a 5. Sorry, 5.0. Uh, so the segments are all going to be 1. What I'm going to do is then I'm going to right click on the box itself. I'm going to convert to and then I'm going to convert it to an edible poly. From there I'm going to click on the vertex. Uh, I, you can either go to the front view or the left view, either or. I just select the top vortexes. So then I'm going to just uh, go ahead and scale it down. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have it all selected, but just the uh, axes that I need, the uh, X and the Y, and I'm going to scale it in just a bit. Not much, I'm just using my eyes. I'm just making sure that it's nice and uh, straight. From there, I'm going to select the polygon, I'm going to select the top. Let me go to insert. I'm going to click on this little window beside it, and that way I can adjust it to the uh, amount that I want. Let's try 5 and see what that gives us. So 5, hit the check mark, and that should be good. Uh, what I'm going to do is later on, we won't texture it this episode, but later on in the series, just because I may want to actually change some stuff on the spikes themselves. Um, we'll make this steel and then we'll do like a hazard around the top here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and exclude it now. So I'm going to click on the window again. And this time I'm going to go minus. And I'm going to go, let's try, I don't want five, let's try three. See how that is. Three is a bit too much, so let's go two. And two should do. So let's just hit the check mark again, and that will give us the little indent where our spikes are going to go. So I want five spikes. I want one on each edge and then one in the center here. So the box is pretty much even. Let's just move it over a bit more. So I'm just going to click move. I'm making sure that it's, uh, oops, turn the uh, polygon off. So I don't just move the polygon, I'm going to move everything. I'm just going to bring this kind of in the center here, just to give us a bit of a uh, idea what we want. So let's go over to uh, Cylinder, and let's create a cylinder. So for the spikes, if you want this to be a low poly game, it's pretty simple to do. I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to do this. Uh, we'll just create a cylinder. I'm going to make sure the height segment is just one. I'm going to bring it to, yeah, that's... Well, that's a, probably a bit too high for height. Let's go uh, radius first. Let's do uh, 10. And then let's do, oh uh, yeah, let's do 50. So what I'm going to do is, if you want it to be a low poly, you can actually change it to 3 if you want like a kind of a Roman spike type thing. And then so when you actually convert to an edible poly and collapse it at the top here. It'll be a triangle spike. And then also if you wanted to, you could do something where you have uh, four segments and you could make it the four way also. So something like this. Select the uh, vertexes collapse. And you could do something like this where it's this a low polyed kind of uh, 3D type thing. Uh, but for this game I do actually want it to be a bit more higher polyed so I'm actually going to switch this to 32. And then I'm just going to go ahead and convert to an edible poly and then I'm going to select the vortexes, select the top, and then I'm going to collapse it. And this will be our spike. I'm going to unselect the vertex. I'm just going to move this to be uh, probably halfway, I would have to say, uh, from both edges. Let's 
So something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to go to clone. I'm just going to make a copy and then I'm going to move this just over to about the same distance from the uh, right side as from the left side and I'm going to hold the CTRL. I'm going to select the other one and then I'm going to hit uh, clone again. I'm going to make another copy and I'm just going to bring this down to about the same distance from the edge as that. And I'm going to do that one more time to anyone, doesn't really matter which one, because I'm just going to put this in the center. So let's go ahead and just uh, move this to about here. And then about here. And that should be around the center here. So now we have five spikes. So what's going to happen is in game, we're going to have these spikes. I'm just going to move these here. They're going to go underneath and then they're going to pop up go underneath and then they're going to pop up and it's going to be um, a few seconds pause from the top and from the bottom so what you can do is you can actually attach all the spikes together so it's a uh, right click hit attach and just grab them so now that all these spikes are together you can actually just file and then save it. So you just go down to save as, save as, and then save it to whatever location you want. I'm not gonna save this, uh, but I will export it. So after you save it, just go down to export, hit export, go to whatever file, file location you want to save it as. So I'll just save it here and I'll put uh, land spikes. And I'm gonna save it here. Okay, now that it's saved as an FBX, I will see you guys in Unity where we'll import this and animate it. All right, so here we are in Unity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our model folder and we're just going to go to where we have the uh, FBX file for the land spike we just created. We're just gonna drag and drop that in. So from there, let's go ahead and let me just actually just make this a full screen so that we can actually see better what I'm doing. All right, so now that we have our spikes, let's just drag and drop them in. We will have to resize as they are a bit uh, big. So let's go 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Let's go ahead and change the spikes name inside here, the cylinders. Let's change this to uh, enemy and then also change the tag to enemy. And let's start adding the uh, script, the damage script that we'll need. Let's add that in here make the damage 50 and now let's go ahead and create a box collider for all, for all of these so let's go ahead and create one for just the base here so let's go ahead and add a physical box collider that way when they step on the base they won't go through it and then for the enemy we'll also make a box collider for it too. Now it will go over the spikes so you don't need to actually worry about uh, actually resizing it. We'll just uh, go ahead and copy component and paste as new. Like what we did with that uh, box in the previous tutorial and we'll just make sure that this is a trigger and we'll just resize this as uh, 5, 7, and 8. So it's just a bit bigger than this box collider. So animating the spikes should be pretty simple. So we'll select the uh, land spike, the uh, top here. We'll go ahead and go window. We'll make an animation. We'll just drag and drop this here just to uh, click it on. We'll hit create. Go to wherever you want to save the animation itself. So we do have a folder for it. Uh, animations. And we will call this spikes. and hit save. So that will give us this window. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually scroll this out a little bit to about there. So I'm going to hit record. So we want this, it's at zero right now, which is good. We'll actually start at the minus point. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just select the enemy, the spikes themselves, not the base. I'm just going to move this down to be just below the surface here, which will be 1.2. 
think that will do, right? 1.2 point, uh, yeah, 1.2. So it's just below the surface here. We actually only need that zero. It's actually going to uh, take that off. Uh, so that's going to start out at the base. We want it to actually stay down there for a bit. So let's say about uh, one second, it'll stay down there. So we're just going to add a keyframe. And then we're going to go maybe another two. And then we're going to bring it up to back to zero. Uh, and then we're going to go two, and it's going to stay up there for another second. So I'm going to uh, just add another keyframe right here. And that should be all that we need. Oh, wait. No, we want to actually bring it back down to the bottom. So let's go another two here. So let's go one point two uh, minus sorry one point two. So now when we hit play, it starts at the bottom. It pops up. It waits a bit and then it goes down. Now that is moving pretty fast. We can actually change it. Let's just move all these over here. So we can always move these, adjust these to how we want it. Uh, three uh, and right here six so now if we hit play hmm. let's bring this down to two or oh, actually right there And then two. Yeah. Let's try that. So it's all about personal preference, what you want it to be at. So now the spikes, when we come in, they're animated. When we hit them, we take damage. And that's how easy it is to actually make and animate spikes. Uh, we'll go later on and we'll texture it, uh, the uh, spikes. Let's just close this tab. Uh, in a later episode, I think that's all the time I have for this episode. So I'll see you later on. Have